<laughs> we got our A team out today. Is it mandatory to look like an idiot when you're on a three wheeler? <laughs> mandatory to have fun, baby. Let's go. <laughs> Rotor. Good gosh. All right, so we have two of the greatest three-wheelers ever made. A Honda Valkyrie converted into a trike. And over here, a CRF 450 also converted into a trike. Uh, these things are great on trails and in the dirt, but today we're going to be putting tracks on them and converting them into snow machines. Something is guaranteed to break. These things break pretty much anytime you turn the key on them without tracks. So being that we're going to be in like 20 below weather with snow tracks on them, what could go wrong? <laughs> everything <laughs> <laughs> so for those of you wondering who the guy with the flip-up sunglasses is that's our friend Gavin he called us out in a video like a year ago and then we befriended him and now anytime we do anything with three wheelers he has to be here for it so we called him back for this one dude I think she can eat in the snow so what do you think just right here test her off a ditch run in and maybe a ditch run in just hit the ditch we know you're good at it oh, oh. <laughs> watch out for coverts though <laughs> The drift is eight the front tire. We're oh two God. minutes in and you've already flipped this thing twice. <laughs> well, dude, you were doing so good. I just tried to go a little faster. I knew you were, you, and... you were trying to one up me. Yeah. yeah. Again. <laughs> it just it keeps tipping. I think that's why I stopped making these things. <laughs> So for context, for the viewers back home, it's like negative 15 out right now. So cold out. Oh, oh my gosh, this is a heavy girl. But normally I know how to deal with the heavy ones a little bit better, but this one's stuck. This one's a special heavy. <laughs> you like that, Ben? <laughs> <laughs> I love the heavy joke. It's because it's true. Well, it's not a joke, yeah, I was gonna say, <laughs> what are you talking about? <laughs> oh my God. This is why this thing needs tracks. She's a heavy unit. Yeah, she doesn't float on the snow very well. Yeah, we're just trying to get this thing out of here. At the moment, that yeah, looks like it is. <laughs> See ya. Have a good one. Good effort. All right, drive good. Drive right, nice. That's easy, baby. All right, let's go before we get in trouble. We need the tracks on, Ben. We'll make that happen. All right, guys, I want to take a brief moment in the video to mention today's sponsor, Onyx Off-Road. So Onyx helps you find new trails to ride, whether it's for side-by-sides, dirt bikes, or in our case today, snowmobiles. They also provide all the information for the areas that you're going to be riding in, whether it's weather reports, land boundaries, so you know who owns what, so you're not trespassing, or snow conditions. So I'm going to go ahead, open up the Onyx Off-Road app here on my phone, and it's going to give me the option to either hit snow or dirt. Being that I'm snowmobiling, I'm going to stick with snow, and it's going to show me all the snowmobile trails around me at the moment so being that I live here obviously I know most of the trails but if I was somewhere new it'd be really handy to have it's also really nice that you can save a map so if you know where you're gonna be that day save the map and then if you lose service you can always pull that map up and you're gonna know exactly where you are and how to get home so going back to the dirt side of the app I'm gonna select that because we need to find some new places to ride dirt bikes around here I'm gonna zoom in on a place hit a random trail. The Narrow Bull Moose Trail says the difficulty ratings are easy. It's accessible by dirt bikes or a 50 inch four wheeler. And it's also got some photos of it so I know exactly what I'm getting myself into before even going. So no matter what you guys are doing, dirt bikes, snowmobiles, pretty much anything outdoors, Onyx has got you guys covered. Download the app today, get 20% off a monthly membership using the promo code CBOYS. Thank you for sponsoring the video. Now back to three wheelers. All right, so here's the plan. We're gonna take the tracks off of the Trizinger and put them onto the 450. Then, 
We're going to take the tracks from our old Maverick and put them onto the Honda Valkyrie. I think it's pretty fitting. A little bit smaller three-wheeler, smaller tracks. Biggest three-wheeler you can get. Biggest tracks you can get. These tracks are not supposed to go on this Honda Valkyrie as you could probably assume. So we got these adapters slash spacers made. A couple things that we gotta figure out, but I think we'll get it like we always do. Every little last thing about these three wheels is dangerous, even when you're working on them. All right, adapters are on. Now the track should fit. We got both the tracks on. I think this is the final step. If you look at this bar, it's basically just like an alignment strut. Something that basically just holds the entire track still from spinning around. We didn't have a mounting bracket, so we had Brian, our buddy, come over and uh, he's going to weld on these little aluminum brackets right here. And then once we get that done, it should be ready to roll. They're done and they look amazing. I hope the camera can showcase really how big they are. This one's pretty tall, but this one, even without the tracks on it, it's like a massive unit. So being that it's got like 136 inch tracks on the rear, this thing's like a straight up snow tank. Hopefully it doesn't get stuck because it's gonna be really, really heavy. We're gonna have to straight up have like a winch to get this thing out of a snow bank. Dude, this thing has like a bigger footprint than a car. This turned out pretty awesome as well. We had to do a little bit more fabricating to make it fit on the back. Hopefully those hold up. If there's a two man wrecking crew that could destroy anything quality, it's these two. <laughs> Give me some of <laughs> Honestly, Gav, and Ev, just progressively ramp it up throughout the day. Don't just hit it all at once right away. Yeah. I know it's gonna be hard. I'm going for a new PR. On what? Quickest time ruining something. Please don't. Oh, please yeah. don't. We pulled some ridiculous things out of that door. This one might take the cake. Oh my gosh. see Gavin. It's just a tornado of snow. how much speed he can get going though. Ev's kind of like chugging along where Gavin is just like full on freight train. We're good. What happened? Nothing, nothing. She's just hot. We're fine. Hot. How the heck is it hot? It's negative 10 out. You know, uh, we were whomping it pretty hard. Whatever happened to the progressively ramping it up? Was that not progressive? <laughs> <laughs> oh, Ooh. this thing is tacoing. Gosh dang it. What do you think, Ben? I was trying to be nice and easy on it, I but just, you, told, you told me to go through there. You told me to go through there. If I say go nice and easy on it and you say, okay, then I know you're just lying. <laughs> well, and then I had Evan behind me. I mean, what do you do? Oh! <laughs> what are you doing? It's fine. That's fine. What were you doing there? The brakes are frozen up, so I tried to just like flip it backwards so I could be safe. We just find out that this thing can wheelie? No, oh, yeah, no, oh, yeah, <laughs> yeah. It can wheelie so good. I just got so excited. I didn't want to let go of the throttle. Man, this thing is awesome. Like we build a lot of awesome things. This is really up there right now for me. This thing's really cool. Put dreams in driveways. That's a new one. I like that thing. Nice, Ken.
What the heck? He's really hurt, man. What do you think's going on? I think we might have got some water somewhere. What do you think? Probably. Thankfully, it's a Honda. God damn it. So it can take it. <laughs> no, I don't think it. I don't think it can. Well, then, what, what, Did you just hear that? <laughs> What do you think about that, Ed? Sounds like a wet air filter. Who would have thought a 2003 road bike wouldn't have done that well when you drove it with giant tracks and put it in 10 degree below weather? All I'm gonna say is, at least it's the Honda. It's not running, it's not running. The Honda thing doesn't apply anymore. It'll get me home. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Guy is a delusional Honda lover, bro. He can't accept the facts. It's kind of funny. We were pretty worried about um, the tracks messing up, or the front end messing up, or something breaking, or the clutch. We didn't really think about the motor. Oh my, <laughs> oh my oh, gosh. Oh, that's oh. the issue. Mm -hmm. Okay, it makes sense. We're gonna put pre-filter on the intake and hopefully try and stop some of the snow. These things seem to do pretty well on the flat when they're not broken, so we'll see how they climb. Nice save. Yeah, so what, what, what approach? Just straight up or same angle? I I'd say so. Oh my freaking god, dude! I think this thing's afraid of the hill. But as Gav said, it is a Honda. It doesn't even matter <laughs> yeah, anymore, so man. I'm giving up on my Honda fan, <laughs> dude, after today. 